Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today. Uh, okay, let me share my screen. Today we're going to talk about uh, some coding techniques that are related to master details. Uh, you should be able to see my screen. And this is a simple project based on uh, Northwind database. Uh, we have uh, orders, order details, tables, and we show a few things how to manipulate master and details together. Okay, let's uh, just, let me show you what we already have here. That's uh, our orders table. And I have added a couple of buttons here, but uh, you, what you see here is orders and order details. And also I have added customers as the details table. Okay, uh, let's start with uh, something simple. For instance, uh, I have added a button to each uh, master table records that will copy uh, master and details table together to corresponding archive tables. So that's uh, so these are main table orders and order details, and I created same similar looking tables for archive purposes and uh, exactly the same database structure to simplify things and let's see how we're going to do this so that's our button right here order table copy to archive Okay, let me show you the code and the idea. So there is nothing in uh, in the client before event on server event. This is where magic happens. Okay, uh, probably just copy it to Notepad so you can see it better. So this is what we do in this event. Uh, the idea is that. First, we have uh, to access uh, master master table current record, the one that where we click the button, and it's very simple. Uh, just one call to get current record. Then we create a copy of the current order in order archive table. This is how we do it. We use database API. Uh, insert function and we populate data array with the fields that we want to copy. We don't want to copy everything. We just copy fields that we see on the list page, custom ID, employee ID, order date, and ship city. And we populate them with the values uh, coming from the current record, which we accessed right here. So we populate these four fields and we call database function, uh, database API function insert. And we insert data into orders archive table and data is our array. That's a bit here. This is very simple. Okay, now is the tricky part. Uh, we need to retrieve the order ID of the record that we just have added. We use another database API function that's called uh, last id let me show it to you in the manual real quick what this function does is retrieves the latest id of the current connection so you need to call this function right after you execute insert and of course it will only, only work if uh, uh, this specific table has uh, outer increment field so this is the easiest way to access the new value of outer increment field so this is it 
I'll go back to PHP runner. And uh, I'll read the wrong thing. So we retrieved that uh, last ID. Now we execute select. We retrieve all details records from the original order details table right here. And we loop through it one by one. And for each details record, we create uh, pop populate array with data. Order ID is going to be our new ID we just retrieved right here. And other field, other fields uh, like product ID, unit price, quantity, we simply copy them from the original table right here. And we also execute insert database API function and data will be added to all the details archive table one by one. So let's see how it works. I have tested this code and it did work. So let me go back to the browser. That's right here. Uh, let me show you what we currently have in uh, Archive table, I have tested it a little bit. Let me delete everything here. So sure that it works, no data here. Go to orders table and take a look, I don't know, at uh, this specific details table, for instance. Uh, some product IDs that do not show product name because uh, they don't have matching records in products table. But you see, we have orders, an order with uh, it will be have a new id this one is id with the original table and uh, it will definitely have a new id in the archive table but anyway these are for details so what we do here we click copy to archive button and it says it was done okay let me check uh, let me show you yeah that's our new record. You see record ID is free because uh, this is archive table. It has its own auto increment field. And we cannot copy order ID from the original table. We do not copy auto increment fields. We create new ones. Okay, and these are our four details here. Okay, it's kind of simple. Uh, let me know if it makes sense or not. And uh, as usually, if you have any questions, feel free to ask at any time, and uh, I will try to answer it.